Good morning everyone, so today I am out to try the new backpack from the K&F concept. I'm going to show you all the feature of this bag. I, I became it something like one week ago. Thanks a lot guys for sending me this uh, bag or beautiful pack. pack. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make a review for you. I'm going to show you all the features. I, I just want from the beginning to talk about one thing. It has something that I haven't ever seen in my life. In a, a normal uh, bag that I use every day or a photography uh, bag. I haven't seen it before. It's really so so comfort and so beautiful and I think I won't have shoulder pain after that after using this uh, this beautiful bag so I'm going to show you all the features and I'm going to tell you what I like specific thing the specific thing that I like in this bag and maybe only one thing that I don't like but it's not a big deal because the feature the design the quality of this uh, bag is really so so good so let's start so as you can see this is the bag itself and the one the first feature that i didn't have in my old bag is that here you have a top access you can put your camera right here and you have a very uh, fast access i would call it to your camera because every time you want to take a photo you don't have to you know put the camera on its back and open here and to take the camera but nevertheless you still have a lot of space here as you can see the bag is almost still empty actually i didn't lift anything i'm really so honest i didn't lift anything at home all the equipment is with me and the uh, the bag is still empty as you can see i have two lenses here the sigma 7300 millimeter lens i have the 50 millimeter lens i still have this space here i could put a very big lens and here i have the camera body and the sigma 10 20 millimeter lens which is not a small lens it's a big lens actually and still fit here as i said i have a top access right here which which i like actually and at the same time I have the normal front access right here another feature that I like a lot which I didn't have in my old bag and it was actually always a problem for me putting or finding a place to put my tripod as we all know we have two places right here I'm putting right now a small tripod for my vlogging camera and on the other side but the problem when you have a big tripod and not a small tripod like that you can you can you can put it right here but the problem when your tripod is so long i will show you so as you can see this is what i was talking about you may put your tripod right here but the problem is that the weight of the tripod is not balanced on your body and you always feel that the weight on this shoulder is more than this shoulder and as i i was walking i always feel that the bag is going to the right side for example or to the left side that depends on where i am putting the tripod this problem it was really a big problem for me because i want to hold my vlogging camera for example i want to walk but i don't have a place to put my big tripod that's why my left hand with my big tripod and the right hand i'm using the vlogging camera it was really so hard for me but in this backpack backpack in this bag I will show you where I am going to put the tripod and it's really so fantastic way for me. So this is what I was talking about. As you can see, you can use these two things to put the tripod under your backpack. And this is really so brilliant because the first thing is that the tripod is really so steady and as you can see and, and it won't uh, fall down how, however you moved or whatever you you did with your camera it won't fall down as you can see it really it's really so steady and the second very important thing is that when you are putting the tripod like that the weight of the tripod is correctly balanced on the both of your shoulder and you won't have any shoulder pain like putting the tripod on only one side of the back so that's why this is a very important feature or the most important feature that will make me use this backpack so this is a feature that i want to talk about it the most as i said i really haven't seen 
a bag like that a normal bag or a photography bag I haven't seen a bag like that in my life as you can see you have this I, I say a lot of thing this thing because I don't know actually we always have this problem when we are talking not in other mother language uh, these two things are connecting the straps of the of the bag and as you can see they are rotating they can take the shape of the uh, shoulders if you have a small shoulders like me for example or if you have big shoulders you won't have any problem using this bag because as i said these two straps are moving to make your shoulders comfort and to you know be in your shoulder in, in the right way without any problem now what is the function of these two straps actually why why they are like that the first thing as i said because they will be able to take the shape of any shoulder the second thing is that you can so easily click here and you can remove it as you can see and why you are going to remove it actually because you can remove them like that and put this one right here now you can use the back with only one strap which means you have a new accessibility or a new possibility to access the camera so as you can see now I'm using the pack with only one strap now the way of using or the, the reason of using the bag like that is that you are um, planning to have the camera so fast for example you are a wedding photographer or you are portrait photographer which means you are always on the street for example and you want to have the accessibility accessibility the accessibility of the camera so fast you want to access your camera so fast you don't want every time you want to take off your camera to put the bag on the, to put the bag on the ground open it and take the camera this is really so fast like that so i i find it i find it actually so helpful for example if i want to take my my children if i want to take my children for example i want to take photos of my children i don't have to put the bag or the bag always on on its back i have to put the bag on its back on the ground and open it and take, take the camera make take a photo and put the camera back and take the, the bag again it needs a lot of time and as i said if you are wedding photographer or portrait photographer sometimes you 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 find something and you have to react so fast uh, and that's why it's really so another another possibility this is actually all the features of this beautiful backpack as i said because of putting the tripod down the bag and balancing it on the both of my shoulders now i have a place to my tripod i don't have to always ha uh, hold it with my hand and i have a vlogging camera i think this is the main specific the main fantastic reason or the main reason that i am going to use this pack pack for right so the last thing I want to do actually I want to go back home and try to see the water resistant I am going to make you know I want to spray water on the on the back I want to make it full of water and I will wait something like 15 minutes 20 minutes after that I will open the bag and I will show you my camera my gears my lenses if there's anything uh, any water inside uh, the, the bag which I I'm sure it will not happen because the quality is really so beautiful so at the end as I said the reason that I'm going to use this uh, this bag this camera uh, the reason that I'm going to use this bag is that now I have a place for my tripod balanced on my shoulder and I don't have any problem where I will put my big tripod yeah so let's go back home and see the water the water resistant of this bag. <laughs>